The news on your hometown station on 7 at 4 starts right now. Today on 7 at 4, we're continuing our solar eclipse coverage. Catherine Maxwell gives us the insight on this astronomical event. It's far more about inspiration, awe, and joy for humanity. It's an event that just makes you feel a lot of things. And the bridge collapse in Baltimore could affect agriculture here in Virginia. How it might change the entire process of getting produce on your table. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us here on 7 at 4. I'm Melissa Gayona. Hey, happy Monday. Yes. All right. Ta -doo 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 -doo. Solar eclipse Monday. Oh, you mean these? Oh, hey. Yeah, I, uh, let's talk about the story everybody's talking about. <laughs> I'm not talking about, I'm talking about Cody Rhodes finishing his story at WrestleMania 40 last night. That's I what everybody's heard. talking about today. It's true. My husband went to a WrestleMania party last yep. night. I mean, not really a party. It was just him and his bud. Mm -hmm. But, uh, um, boys. Yeah. Uh, out pretty late last night due to I, WrestleMania. It was a late show. I was texting him. I mean, he, he texted me back. He said, I'm all in. I've yeah, got him. He's all in. Here's the thing. You probably tuned in thinking you were going to get all solar eclipse coverage. No, nope, we're going to talk man. WrestleMania the next hour. Yep, <laughs> WrestleMania kidding. 4. It was a great show. <laughs> well, WrestleMania. John Cena out there, The Rock, yes. The Undertaker. Are you I kidding heard, me? I heard he made a debut. Um, all of the WrestleMania fans are saying thank you all for talking about WrestleMania because it kind of got overlooked today. Yeah. Got, and look. It got blotted out by the sun. It did. The moon. It's a big deal. Uh, I know my daughter's school got let out early. Mm -hmm. Maybe yours did too today because, you know, the, the solar eclipse. So, yeah, a lot of coverage. We've been doing a lot of stuff here. D the newsroom has a different feel, you know? Yeah, a disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, look. I, there wasn't much to see. I'm, I'm going to speak what we're all thinking. Uh, Gene, I know. I mean, it was yeah. cl it's cloudy. I looked up with these and couldn't see anything. All right. So, you know? At least you tried, Jean. I tried. Yeah. I got there, there stuck was. at my desk. Yeah. Oh, you got a big week. Yeah, I didn't get to see anything. But uh, I was relying on you guys to give me all there the There were news. like snippets of like two seconds yeah. here, three seconds there. Yeah. Yes. It's from time to time. but A small yeah. break in the clouds, Melissa, and then like someone would snap a photo. So there are some photos out there uh, okay. from our area. Mm -hmm. well, I'm sure we'll check them out, right, Jean? Yeah, we're going to definitely check them out. And it's pretty much almost over. Uh, standing by uh, to join us is meteorologist Catherine Maxwell. You know, she has been uh, at Explorer Park checking it all out. Catherine, first of all, did you see anything? And um, with this one almost over, when's the next one? So actually, I was so lucky, and me, and I'm with Joe Shiel here today, we actually got to see the partial solar eclipse, so it was really nice, but man, the cloud cover, it was testing it very much so. Now, the next total solar eclipse to go over the United States will be in the year of 2044, so still have to wait 20 years. A lot